There is a ton of great software available for FreeBSD in the repository, much of which you may never have seen. So in this video, I'm going to show you three examples which I thought was interesting, they're unusual, or maybe just useful. Right, first program is, or first application, is photo collage, which will make a collage of your photos. Who knew? There's not many options available before you load a photo, but you can define uh, output size. You can uh, choose from a template, which uh, unfortunately you can't see at the bottom. And you can change the thickness of the border and the color of the border. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's not much to choose from, but it'll do. And a lot of these are greyed out until we've added images. And in order to add an image, you can choose photos, or in this case, YouTube thumbnails. And it arranges them very nicely. You can change the arrangement if you wish. And say, for instance, you've got two that look similar or the same colour, then you perhaps want to you know, contrast. You just keep clicking the regenerate and it'll come up with alternatives. which is pretty good. But if you want to do a more manual, you can just hold on to a particular tile and drag it up or down to arrange it yourself. So say for instance, you've regenerated the picture, but there's one or two that you don't like, rather than just changing it all, just change them few you don't like. It's very good. You can undo any changes you make or redo them if you want. And you can save the resulting collage to wherever you want. I can save it in PNG, but I think other formats are supported. And there it is. Very useful uh, little tool, this. Next up is K-Snap. There's not much to look at when it comes to the menu at the moment. Got some basic controls. and But that will change once you've loaded up what you want to comment on and the file controls is as you would imagine open recent close quit undo the ones that are grayed out will spring into life once you've loaded your project and we'll look at the about uh, it was 2021 so yeah, it's not not old but i don't know if there's any new versions coming out hopefully there will be so looking at the menu again we've got new where you can draw a rectangle or, or you can define current screen and active screen, etc. You've got save, copy, undo, redo, crop, and little timer. Right, what we're going to do is that we're going to take a little capture of the FreeBSD ports updating notification file, which you should always read before you, you update your uh, ports. And we're just going to select an area like that. Now, this could be uh, a scan of someone's work or your own work or... It could be, you know, anything like that. If you're a teacher, it could be some schoolwork. And now that we've loaded in uh, a screenshot, as it were, of what we want to comment on and annotate, you can see there's a few more options have sprung up. Some basic ones, uh, like text, and all the grey areas, all the grey menu items have now... Uh, well, he says that, but there's cost as one or two that hasn't. Uh, they're, they're now ungrade. You can, uh, obviously, change color of text. So the default, I don't know if the default is red. Is that red? Default is red? Could be. I'm going to leave it at that. You can change the width of lines and squares and colors. and You know, if you whatever you're going to put on there, you can change it. You can change the text as well if you want, the font. And bold, italic, underline, etc. And some colouring and shading. And some of the useful tools are on the left there. Which I've accidentally pressed. We'll come back to that one later. So at the top there, we've got your cursor where you can define an area. That one where you can make a copy. You've got pencils and text and numbering and blurring and shapes and emojis. So the top one will just let you uh, highlight an area if you wish. That one will let you duplicate an area which we're not going to do on this one this will let you 
Uh, well, it'll let you put a shape on screen. So if you want to point to a, a specific part or highlight uh, a certain area, kind of useful. Gives you the basic, it's quite slim arrow there. They went away because I pressed Control Z, so it's uh, it's easy to go to the menu. You can have double arrow or a or a line, and the line would be useful again if you just want to simply underline something. So it's got a nice kind of like purpley blue there, and you can change that, of course, if you want to change it to red, so it really stands out. And you could, if you want, change the thickness of that line, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. This you kind of got a pencil that lets you just do a rough outline shape there. Or you could just quickly, if you want to do that, if you're doing a, a live stream and want to do some quick little doodles. You've got a highlighter, a marker pen. Default is yellow, of course. And, you know, I don't need to explain what you need that for if you want to highlight an entire area. Or, if you want it more uniform in shape, you can actually do a, an entire rectangle. If, if your hand is unsteady like mine was and you just like ends up like scrolling across like a slug scrolled across it. Or you can do a fancy uh, elliptical shape. Text. Uh, text is pretty cool in this. If you click somewhere and just type, let's say for instance, oh no, it's, if I can type, it's, it isn't. I'm going to say, oh no, it's not. I'm not in a pantomime. Um, we can't read that really, so let's change the colour of that. If I can work... <sighs> If I can work out where you go, there we go. And you can change the position if you want to make it a bit more underneath. So, yeah, and the other options is there, for instance, if you want to leave a comment or emphasize more details, please. We had a few of them when I was at school. You, do, you pour your art out into a nice uh, long essay just for the teacher to say more details, please. <laughs> and you want to undo or redo in case you change your mind right so what next well we've got various and number one there you've already seen this one when I clicked on it earlier so you can put some bullet points there which is pretty groovy you can change the shape of the bullet point so it has a little pointer. So I suppose it really is a bullet point. Which is, I, you know, I kind of like this. This is really neat. I like this. Or just to like a, a number point. So you just have a, without the circle. Hmm. Very good. I like that. And I think that's it for text. I'm not going to bother using them. Uh, this one is if you want to blur or censor part of your uh, document. Or one way that you could easily just uh, emphasize in there is if you blur all the rest out and just leave the clear bit. Or you could pixelize it. And that's pretty good. So if you add some uh, photographs in a document and perhaps you just want to pixelize, you could do it that way. Hmm. Let's get rid of all this. You got some. Um, you, know, you can zoom in, zoom. Out. Not going to zoom in much on this one, but it's just like make the document full bigger and smaller. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We've got rectangle and e ellipse. So you could, I suppose, make like a, a text area if you wanted to. This is a very nice little application or program. And the bottom one is, oh, we've done rectangle, I think, ellipse. Uh, the bottom one is emojis, of course. Where would we be today without emojis? And you can change, not a fantastic selection, but good enough. And if you wanted to mark some work, you could do uh, some crosses and ticks. Yeah, and you can change various aspects of them if you want. 
So I'm liking this. And once you're finished and you're happy with it, you can save your work. Now we've got Camotics. And really it's, uh, uh, it's, it's like a, a simulator for a CNC controller. But if you've got the equipment and the, uh, the wherewithal to, to connect them together, you could have yourself a really handy little tool here. Now, I know nothing really about CNC, uh, but I know that there's people who watch who do. So maybe, uh, you know, of, it was, what are you talking about? You're just rambling. In this case, I will be rambling. But you could see the potential if you, uh, if you want to get into this. You get presented with a uh, basic preloaded example like the uh, Camotics logo. And there's a lot of functions up there which uh, I don't know really what they do. There's some basic ones, of course. So luckily they give us some examples, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But the rest of the menu is, it's kind of like what you expect it to be. So here's an example. We're going to try one. Uh, build Botics. Yeah, it just looks like a, a 3D CAD. I suppose that's what it is in a way. Um... Play, I think, yeah. We'll go through. Oh, what's happening there? It'll show you the. I don't know. It'll show you the uh, the creation process. Yeah. I've never used a CNC machine, so I wouldn't know uh, how to get started. So this this might be a good introduction. And there's a, a representation of your CNC machine where we're doing the thing on. You can zoom in and zoom out. Right, so that's pretty good. So I take it that that is what we saw it sort of like running through. That's what it was doing, but from a distance. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And we have another example here called Bear. Now, presumably, it's going to do a uh, a teddy bear. But you can toggle a kind of a wireframe. I don't know whether that should be showing us anything there, but it just seems to be a, <laughs> a semi-solid block. All oh, right, okay. So I've clicked on that one, and it lets us actually see the bear. And now it's gone solid again. Hmm. So I'll take it if this connect up to a real CNC, then it would be doing the same thing. Slice by slice. Okay. And we've got one called Lampshade. Okay. It's perhaps not what I thought it would be. But yeah, I can see the potential in this. And you can save your project if you create your own, of course, in uh, cambiotic format. So, yeah, please consider support the software. Okay. Yeah. Right. Seems rather good. I don't understand any of that, really. But you know, if you're in the know, then you know. So there you are. Just three out of 34,000 packages available for FreeBSD. Can't be said that there's not something for everyone there. Anyway, if you like this video, please consider giving me a like. You can put a thumbs down if you want. It's, you know, it's fine. Uh... Or, if you really like it, please, you could consider subscribing. And if you really don't want to miss anything, well, you know, I certainly wouldn't, then hit that bell. Because then it lets you know when I drop a new video. And it makes the YouTube algorithm very happy. Which then makes me happy. Which then makes you happy. Everyone's happy. Anyway, before I go on too long, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.